It's another day in Gleaner Paradise. Got a little mud again, don't we? There's some bad news about the barley. Come on, Gertie. Is that right? Yeah. I did it. I got it right. That's worth looking into. Yeah. That looks right. Good rainy morning, Elmo. Are you hungry? Yes, Ma. Okay. <laughs> Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Here we are, third rainy morning in a row. We've had 2.7 inches of rain and counting Good morning, Panda. Girls, got a little mud again, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, y'all, uh, we're on day three. Day three of rain. When it rains, my really bad internet is even really worser. Yeah, I bet that just triggered some people, didn't it? I know it did. I know it triggered you when I said that. Um, it's really bad. So, I've been fighting it. I've been trying to get some things done. I did load a new a new video on my cooking channel. Did you know I have a cooking channel? I do. I have not been posting on there as often as I would like. But I'm going to keep going. And there's a new one up for beef and broccoli. Go check it out. Um, so that, that actually did load somehow. It's a miracle, but I couldn't get the image to load to be able to edit it, to put words on it. So there's a wordless image, but anyway, it's all good. I'm going to check on Lawrence and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to cook supper and the kids and I are going to have a sleepover in the corn crib because we can, because we can. So I do not really like sleeping on in sleeping bags on floors but I'm gonna do it because they really want to. And I mean, why not, right? Why not? They only live once. And we have a corn crib with heat and air and tight as a, a bone, dry, not tight as a bone, tight as a tick, dry as a bone. I don't know, that, that fits. It's dry anyway. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And uh, he's been working on Gertie all day, again. But it's raining, and so we couldn't be combining anyway. So, you know, tit for tat. That's how that goes. So many sayings coming out of my mouth today. All right, um, let's go see what he's doing. And then maybe tomorrow I'll have more to actually show. And maybe I'll get something put together here before long. Well, he has company. Maybe somebody's helping him. I think it's one of our hunters. Well, it's the next day. I realized I didn't video anymore yesterday afternoon. When I got to the barn, there was a friend there visiting with Lawrence and he wasn't working on Gertie, so I didn't video that. And I did, let me just stop right here. I did end up um, doing a sleepover in the crib with the kids. I didn't take any video, but um, here's a couple still shots of how that went down. So, as it turns out, sleeping on the floor is not really something that I need or want to do a whole lot these days, but I did it. I woke up every 30 minutes and my back hurt, <laughs> but that's fine. We, we made memories, we played board games, we laughed, and we had a good time. So. That was good. Today has been a good day. Hello, got my hair did for the first time in four months. And uh, for this girl, that is a big deal. I feel like a new woman. I feel like a new woman. 
yes that was nice little trim little color um and uh now i'm going back to see if i can help change the head on gurney that's about to go down and um there's some bad news there's some bad i'm just gonna keep stopping there's some bad news about the barley he said he went and looked at it earlier and um this three days of rain, we had 3.2 inches of rain. He said is just a lot of the a lot of the tops are falling over, and um, we've got more rain expected. In fact, it looks like it's getting ready to rain now, and uh, he's just afraid it's not going to stand back up, and we're not going to be able to get much of anything out of it, combining it. So that stinks. <laughs> we'll just hope. We'll just hope that it turns around and we can get some of it combined. Here's hoping. Well, the sun is out for the first time in three days, but there are still some clouds that look mighty menacing. We'll see. We have dogs. And of course we have Bonnie. Bonnie said, I'm not really a dog. I'm more like a human. <laughs> you ready to go go help work on Gertie? Are you ready to go, honey? Yes, Mom. Okay. Oh, and guess what I have now, y'all, in the store? These awesome Arctic tumblers. Yeah, several of you had asked. There's a half gallon jug, there's a 30 ounce mug, and there's a 20 ounce mug. So, check that out. We got some good help. You gonna help? I thought you meant you. <laughs> you thought I meant me? How about both of us? Let's see what's going on. We got a muddy mess, I know that. Hey, Gustafer. Gonna just sit in the corn. <laughs> sitting in the corn, sitting in the corn. Hey, Gertie, how are you feeling today? Hmm? You feeling okay? About to be, about to be fixed up. About to get a new head, a new to you head. Oh, climbing that ladder, always climbing that ladder. What are you doing now? No. You don't know? <laughs> A 9 16th box 10. That's fine. It's open. Nine sixteenths. Um, yeah, I guess that's the right one. He's putting the cover back on, which is good. He's been greasing some fittings. Getting there. He's getting that one. And I got that one. Don't quit yet. You got okay, I'm not quitting yet. <laughs> studying where the grease fittings are. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think, Bon? <laughs> Come through right there. It's supposed to be some grease fittings. Somewhere. Um, well, I found, okay, I found another fitting, but I can't get my arm in there, so we're going to try to lower this. No. <laughs> oh, it's going to have to crank it, but I can't, I tried. Great, now I probably got to go up there.
Now. It's right there. Right there. Grease, grease everywhere. <laughs> he said he thinks we got them all. Yeah, so that's good. I know I've got a lot of it on me. Can't see, because I'm holding the phone. I tend to wear more than I actually apply when it comes to grease. Yeah. Now he's underneath. <laughs> and it's not easy. Well, now, do you need it raised? <laughs> now that we lowered it some. <clears throat> working under Gertie is even more fun than working on top of Gertie. Except not really. Introducing Smart Cab. Our universal telematics device connects virtually all equipment on the farm in real time. Data seamlessly flows across machines, seasons, and throughout the operation into Farm Command, our powerful digital platform. In the cab or in the office, you get the highest level of in-season visibility and control anytime, anywhere. Smart Cab, the fleet management solution you've been waiting for. Okay, a 9 sixteenths deep well socket might be on a ratchet, might be by itself. I'm nine sixteen six point socket. That's not it. That's too big. This is this is y'all. I don't know what this is. Where does it say nine sixteenths on it? Where does it say the size? Oh, I got it. There's a nine sixteenths deep well socket. It's not on a wrench. I hope this is right, y'all. Okay. Is this it? I don't know. Let me see it. Um, ow, that was my eyeball and a belt. Is that right? Yeah. I did it. I got it right. You see what I mean by six point? It's got, it's a six. hexagon inside of it. That's six. the correct term. A six point. Yeah, hexagon has six points. It's geometry. I hope some socket's got 12 points inside. Oh, wow. I don't know what that would be called. It's called 12 point socket. <laughs> I mean, in geometry class. <laughs> Not LB's Gertie School. <laughs> Are you still looking for the transmission cap? I know where things at. I want to see where you fill it at. He's trying to find where you fill the transmission at. If you can't find it, you grind it. All the sayings today. Elmo being Elmo, swatting flies, laying his little head down. It's a rough life in the bug. I know it is. I know. <laughs> Sweet boy. You just keeping an eye out on him, Clara? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to make sure he doesn't get out of there, Ma. I know what you're thinking. You want to get in there and chase him, don't you? I don't want to chase him. Well, maybe I do. I just want to hurt him, Ma. I just want to hurt him. Not hurt, but hurt. I see you, Clara. That'll do. Here. Clara. 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 That'll do here. Clara, Clara. You don't listen very well. Okay, now let's put the entire toolbox back in the toolbox. <laughs> so you say you fixed it? 
I didn't fix nothing. I just checked the transmission off. I fixed the hole where I can get in there and check it, though. Well, and that's what you fix, then. Without taking all that junk there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mission accomplished, I reckon. I'm scared I'm going to hit my head on that. I'm trying not to. Okay. Hmm. I need to put that very expensive camera somewhere else. All right, come on, Bonnie. Come on back out. We had to go get a, um, get a backhoe. Get my water. Oh, here's the half gallon jug. Yeah, nice, right? I think so. See, two kiddos. Two kiddos just came up on the little four wheeler. They said they want to take the mule for a ride. <laughs> All right, here comes the backhoe and we're gonna change Gertie's head. Put on the other head that hopefully we get to use. Hopefully. Going for a ride, girl? She's like, yep, sure is. I'm thinking about barking. <laughs> Where's Daddy? He's coming, hold on. Oh, you know what? He might be up here. Yeah. I think I need to pick those up. I just learned that there's a special trailer, uh, a head, a trailer for these heads they make that we um, obviously don't own that would make putting the head on and off a lot easier. So that's worth looking into. Yeah. Wow. 
hard to believe it was uh, 57 the last three days. Take two. The chain came off? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good. That looks like a sure enough storm coming, doesn't it? Uh, yep. Pretty sure that's rain over there. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I'm going to go home and cook supper. It's another day in Gleaner Paradise. Yeah, a couple of the fittings on the head have got to be changed to the old, from the old head to the new head so they'll fit. And he's missing a link, some kind of link for a chain. Number 60. All he has is number 50. That's what I heard. So anyway. So close, so close, yet so far away. <laughs> uh, Bonnie and I are going to go home and cook supper. Unstuffed peppers. Yeah. Because um, I used to stuff peppers, then I realized it was easier to actually unstuff them. That'll be on my cooking channel. But, anywho. We'll call it a day. And uh, see if we can get finished tomorrow. And it's starting to sprinkle. In true Marty fashion, I thought I was going to be doing unstuffed peppers tonight. And because I thought I laid out hamburger. Turns out I laid out beef cube steak. That I'm now spilling the water on the floor. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to be doing unstuffed peppers soon. Like maybe tomorrow night. So, tonight we're doing something with cube steak. Anywho, stay tuned for that. Whatever that is. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. What am I doing with my finger? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Hey, while I'm here and I have my tank on, check it out, ladies or men who have ladies that need a new tank. It's super soft. It says Farm Hard Live Well. I love it. It's it's new in my store. And I'm just saying, you need one or two. One to sleep in, one to sweat in, or whatever. Anyway, there you go. All right, enough plugs. <sighs> We're going to call this a night. I'm going to figure out something to do with that cube steak, even though we've already had it twice in the last seven days, probably. That's the way it goes. Catch you next time. Mm -hmm.